Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac, version 1.4 edition. I think there's something a little weird going on with the Isaac achievements. I've got my achievement list just like in the background here in another window. It says I've unlocked Isaac's head, Cain's eye, Eve's bird foot, Blue Baby's soul, and the left hand. I forget the left, oh that's for Ultra Pride, right. Um, so I, I'm only missing three achievements now. Weirdly enough, I think one of them is for beating the chest as Judas, which I thought I had already done. Apparently, I've already beaten it as Cain as well. But I've not beaten it as Samson, despite actually having beaten it as Samson. So I don't know what the heck's going on. I mean, it says I've beaten it as Eve as well. So I have no idea what's going on with that. Maybe we have weird glitched achievements. I'm going to play as Judas in uh, hope to unlock whatever Judas' item is. I mean, like I said, I'm pretty sure I already beat the chest with Judas. In fact, he might have been the first character I beat the chest with. Although, that might have been Isaac as well. I can't remember. It's been a little while. But suffice it to say, something weird is going on here, but that's okay. You know, a glitch in the Binding of Isaac, color me surprised, but just because I'm being a little bit facetious about that, doesn't mean I don't enjoy the game still. We got Pin, and Pin has trouble because we have Book of Belial getting ready to go. And wow, we're going to possibly die against Pin because I'm really bad at this game. No, um, I think we're going to be fine. Pin will dro probably drop some health. All i got to do is not take any more damage for the rest of this fight. Now, I'm hoping that playing as Judas, if we win, we will unlock Judas's trinket as opposed to unlocking, I don't know, like, Maggie's trinket or something. Suppose we could have played as Maggie as well. That might have even been more productive to do right now. But oh well. We got a tiers upgrade. We got the chariot. We have no keys, but we are wearing two different kinds of decorative headgear right now, which is nice. You know, I got the, the I don't even know what you would call it, the psychic do-rag as well as the fez. I apologize if that item actually has some kind of like religious or, or ceremonial significance. Oh, I don't need a key because I'm on the first floor. Of course. One day I will remember little things like that. And we get the relic, that is fucking awesome. So as long as I don't die, you know, very soon, if I can survive for, you know, maybe eight rooms without dying, I'll start amassing some spirit hearts, and we'll be well on our way. But yes, we will, um, I don't know, try to beat the game with Kane. If we beat it with Kane and we don't get another trinket, or another secret unlocked, so be it. I'm just having a little bit of fun actually playing through the game. The release of 1.4 has renewed my interest in this game. Because 1.33 after a while, I just got fatigued with that, man. Like, it was getting so hard having all these great runs and being like, Oh, I can't beat the game anyway, but... Ooh, yeah, that's probably worth it. Please get all three of those. Fantastic. Two of hearts. Maybe not so good. Uh, this will allow us to go to self-sacrifice rooms, though. Because then I could, like, pop the tree, pop the chariot, walk in, and not kill myself. Anyway, let's see what we've got. I'll probably take the chariot into the boss trap room because I don't want to die. And this is a situation where I could, you know, reasonably find myself dying. And the chariot is probably going to be more valuable than having an extra half heart. So this is Pageant Boy. You know what? I'm going to go for it. Kind of hoping that there would be a nickel drop, but there isn't. And we will have Monstro followed by what I assume is going to be Larry Jr.'s. And if it's Larry Jr.'s, that's when we'll use our chariot card. Because then I should be able to take out all three of those dudes with one use of the chariot. At least two of them. So we're going to hopefully get a spirit heart at the end of this room is my my dream oh I, I botched it we'll at least get two of them like I said oh possibly three yes okay so let's say that was an okay use of the chariot card it probably wasn't necessary like I was probably gonna get through it anyway but this is okay too self-sacrifice room exists but doesn't seem like a very attractive possibility for me right now because you never know I could find myself you know, going through there, coming out with half a heart, because I would obviously use my two of hearts card to make sure I didn't die. Uh, and finding like a troll bomb or something. The troll bomb hits me, oops, I'm dead, and I'm an idiot. We have the rosary as well, extra spirit hearts. A lot of people say the rosary isn't worth it. I don't necessarily disagree with you, but when you're playing with fire, with Judas with one heart, getting the rosary isn't so bad. It means we'll definitely come across a lot of Bibles in remaining shops, so shops are not going to be as useful, which is kind of sometimes a, a terrible decision. But I need these extra spirit hearts to be able to amass more spirit hearts with the relic. This is just, basically I just purchased insurance against my own death, which is good. I haven't taken any damage really so far, except that one time against Pin at band camp, but uh, Hero Font as well. Okay, so now we're, we're cooking with gas here. We may even get a deal with the devil here, and I would love a three spirit heart deal to pick up Brimstone for the third time in a row. I know people are not necessarily into that. I'm gonna save my bombs. Uh, use them to find secret rooms a little bit later, or blow up Tinted Rocks, who knows what kind of situation we're going to find ourselves in. And it's the Widow, uh, Pink Widow in fact. Which is not so bad, but it is a little bit faster. Apparently Pink Widow spits flies, I didn't know that. 
Or maybe I did and I just forgot. But in any case, Widow, not very much HP. Spawns regular nubs, which is actually well, way more annoying than spawning the spider nubs, I think. And we do get a deal with the devil, we get a range upgrade. Wonder what the reasoning... Mm, no. No, 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 no. Uh, I wonder what the reasoning behind lipstick giving you increased range is. I don't know. Maybe it makes you more attractive from further away. I'm not gonna think about it too hard. And of course, as he says that, he begins thinking about it even harder. God, my thoughts are so hard right now. Um, please kill something in here. Anything, just one of them. There we go. Now I can actually make a path through here. Okay, that didn't go fantastically, but half a spirit heart is not an enormous loss. Can, of course, go to the mob trap room. And will go to the mob trap room because I desperately need some keys. As far as I've heard, Pusha T told me that uh, keys open doors. And I could really use that right now. Well, never mind. We will uh, continue onwards here. Of course, we do have the shop, and the shop is almost a viability. We could possibly go to the shop and buy a key, but it's, you know, chicken and the egg type scenario, or catch 22, because we need a key to get to the shop in the first place. So I'm just gonna focus on taking these dudes out. I'm not doing as much damage as I would like right now. It seems like Pentagram has not shown up nearly as much as I, as I like it to. Come on, there we go. And we will just continue onwards here. Yeah, you know what? I'll give this money to Judgment. Judgment will give me keys, potentially, or, you know, another health upgrade, or some kind of upgrade, a ladder, Book of Revelations, which I might not want to take. I might want to keep Book of Belial for now. Or it'll give us that, which is all stats up, or just damage up. Just damage up is totally fine, too. Uh, I am A-OK -okay with that decision. Seems to have slowed me down a little bit, though, which is weird. I didn't think it would do that. But hey, that's fine. A little bit of slow for a little bit of extra damage is alright in my books. It also did give us the health upgrade, that's what I, I thought about that. And we will go fight the boss. Who is gonna be Fistula, which is not a huge problem with Book of Belial. Once we get down to like the tinier versions of Fistula, we should be able to take them out without, you know, really breaking a sweat. It should only take us one or two shots per Fistula. Per, per unit? I don't know what to say. If only we had Rage right now, it would be even faster. But alas, beggars can't be choosers, and I think we're doing alright. Come on. Uh, Cat of Nine Tails is an item that I still, you know, I think I'm trying to find its place, where it fits in in the Binding of Isaac, because right now it seems like total fucking garbage. But, you know, maybe it's actually half decent, although I've never really found an opportunity where it would appeal that much, except for maybe if you have a lump of coal as well. It would make your shots, which would do more damage, of course, because of the increased range. Oh, that was horrible. Uh, also, travel there faster, which can kill enemies faster. I don't know. I feel like Lump of Coal, or sorry, I feel like uh, the Cat of Nine Tails is one of those items where I don't see the usefulness of it, but maybe other people out there with a different play style or you know, maybe just more access to logical thought or rational thinking uh, understand that it is actually useful. Or maybe it's just garbage, who knows. In my experience, I'm, I'm aiming more towards the latter, but I could be wrong. Lord knows it would not be the first time that I've ever been wrong with the Binding of Isaac. So we'll pick this up, check out our treasure room, which contains Little Chub. That's cool, actually. We don't get that all that often. So that will access, or basically serve as another sweet damage upgrade for us, provided that we can actually get it to hit the enemy. With five bombs and zero keys, I think it is secret room time. For sure. I've had really bad luck with finding secret rooms. Actually, I saw a post on the Binding of Isaac subreddit that said, uh, is it just me or does secret room logic not apply anymore? So it's possible that maybe they have changed the mechanics of secret rooms. If so, I will never be able to find them. Which is a damn shame. Yeah, so I, I, that's happened too much, I think, to be coincidental. I mean, of course, it could still be coincidental given the nature of probability, but still, or true randomness, I should say. And again, I would like to beg your uh, forgiveness for what might be a little bit of construction noise outside right now. I am apparently living inside the construction site from Jumanji. There's just cranes and shit everywhere all the time. I'm working on it. I'm going to tell him to shut the fuck up. I'm recording some Isaac in here. Who knows? Maybe I have some fans amongst the construction workers outside. That seems pretty likely. And they will, uh, you know, give me a little bit of a break here. But for now, we're just going to have to talk over it. Shit happens. We'll deal with it. Book of Allow Worthy, probably, but I think if I just get a little chub to shoot effectively, 
we don't have to waste our Book of Belial charge. It wouldn't be a waste, because, I mean, we would get good use out of it. But I would rather not use Book of Belial if I don't have to, because then that kind of limits my freedom of when to fight the boss if I was to come across him, like, right now. Similarly, this could be a decent opportunity to use Book of Belial, but I don't really want to do that if I can avoid it. Go. We'll definitely take the Cancer Trinket. Child's Heart is okay. Cancer is certainly more effective. Doubles our rate of tears. I think it's pretty much... I'm not going to say objectively, but it's one of the best trinkets of the game, and I think almost everybody agrees on that. So that's maybe as close to objectivism as you can get with respect to that. So I will take the Spirit Heart and move onwards. We're amassing a nice little Spirit Heart collection for ourselves here. If only Little Chub had actually hit there. Oh, or there. We probably would have gotten an easy kill. This one might do it, though. Ah, very close. And if only these Little Chubs did damage when they came back, like the ones that the enemies can shoot at us. So two chests, certainly worth it here. Can we get up to five cents? Yes. So, we'll probably find the Bible in here. Oh no, we'll just find Greed, okay. And this is a good opportunity to use Book of Belial, but I'm not gonna... because I want to save it for the boss room, which is like right beside me. But that's alright. We'll kill him, we'll take one Spirit Heart worth of damage, shit happens, we actually got a little extra money, and a chest containing a heart that I couldn't possibly need less, but we could go to the arcade and, you know, play the Blood Bank a few times now. So we got little Chubb. Weird that we are fighting him after picking up... I guess it's regular size Chubb, but it's weird that we're fighting him after getting the, the little Chubb upgrade. Little Chubb grade, if you will. What can I say? I'm a pretty clever guy when it comes to these puns and stuff. Taking some pretty shitty levels of damage. I'm not proud of myself. And then maybe with a few more shots we can get in here. I don't know, why is this dude fucking me up so much? I could drop some bombs, but I don't want to waste any. Ah, there we go. We're fine. So we took a little more damage than I'd like. We got the pentagram, which kind of feels like comeuppance for me after bitching about it earlier. But that's cool. So we should have crazy damage now. Red tears are nice. Book of Belial obviously adds to that. And we will go use our blood bank here. We can always go replenish some health if necessary. We can just use our two of hearts card finally. Might not be the most efficient use of it, but it saves me from doing a little bit of backtracking. Well, never mind. <laughs> we can also just pick up the blood bag right off the bat. That is awesome for us. Makes me feel a little bit less bad about all those spirit arts that I missed out on. Alright, the spirit arts that I actively lost, not missed out on. Actively lost on my way here. Shame that the blood bank blew up so fast though, because we could have gone to the boss room here. Boss trap room, I should say. But, you know, you can't always get what you want. Maybe we'll come across that or another blood bank in the future. Who knows. But for now, I'm going to console myself by thinking that there was just a really shitty item in there. Maybe it was going to be Little Chub. Sorry, little Chad. I will never not make that mistake. And now I will never not say that I will not make that mistake. Get it? <laughs> Want me to repeat that a few times? I think I need to repeat it a few times. So we have that. That's the item you get for beating the chest with Samson. I kind of don't like it if I remember correctly. Like, I used it once. I think it's like the razor where it causes you to hurt yourself and then you do more damage. I mean, it, it obviously it looks like a straight razor, so that would make sense. But I just don't want to fuck around with that too much when I already have the Book of Belial, which is a solid item in its own right. So we're gonna, uh, can I blow up everything in there? Probably not. There's another trinket in there, but I don't need it because I already have cancer. So I guess we're just gonna go down to the next floor. I'd say this worked out reasonably well. I'm, I'm impressed with the amount of the speed of our tears and our damage. We could actually use some tears upgrades though, because of course we are going to be, hopefully, if all goes well, getting rid of the, whoa, fuck, uh, getting rid of the cancer trinket to get the Polaroid a little bit later. Just killed the- thank you, thank you, thank you. It could have been close, actually. Those things were, were homing in on me at the very end there. So I kind of like this room, actually. If I'm gonna have to deal with green assholes, I like situations where they can also be dicks to the other enemies that, uh, that exist in the room. We'll get that bomb in a second. First, let's just check this out. Probably not interested in that. Already have a decent chunk of bombs and keys. See, I'm already going back to my old pre-1.3 uh, playstyle, which feels good, it feels way more natural for me. Lots of brimstone, lots of laziness, and, and still, you know, a relatively high degree of success. At least so far, I'm not gonna, again, count my chickens before they hatch. But we got enough keys and enough money to take a gander at what's going on in the shop here. Probably bottles. Compass, wow, that is way better. This will allow us to basically speed our way through the womb and the cathedral, at least to a certain extent. I mean, we can still... Oh, that's not good. We can still fuck ourselves up a bit. We can take wrong directions. It all depends on the layout of the actual level itself, but that's okay. 
I'll waste a bomb here, pick up a spirit heart. Well, this room definitely turned a profit for us in terms of spirit hearts. And then I will go look for... What do we have to look for now? Item room, certainly. Boss room. Self-sacrifice room is not really factoring into my opinion right now. So we'll go maybe item room, boss room. Oh, it's... Oh, fuck. It's so tempting to use a key to get to that spirit heart. But I can't afford to do that unless I get a lot of keys on this floor. If I get, like, one more key, I could probably swing it. I was really hoping that that chest would just oblige me there. No such luck, though. We get Monstro's Tooth. That's a pretty terrible item compared to our Book of Belial here. If anything, if nothing else, I should say, the uh, existence of that key gated spirit heart will cause me to explore the entirety of the rest of this floor because I want to make sure that if there is a key, I find it so I can get that spirit heart. Even if it costs me two spirit hearts to get it. Please stop butt-fucking me in here. I hate these... These little masks, masks of infamy are the worst, man. Gradually or quickly becoming like my least favorite enemy in the game. What do we have here? Bloat, also, you know, like one of my least favorite bosses. This is a difficult spot too because I can't hit him through the side. That was tough dodging. Uh, he can hit us from lasers from the front, but he can't hit us from lasers from the back. So anytime I get an opportunity... To stand behind him without being at risk of getting hit by his eyes is fine by me. Although the creep, yeah, it stretches a great distance. This is why bloat is so fucking annoying, especially on this, this layout right here. But he's getting close to death anyway. Chubb's doing good damage, I like that. Let's get the fuck out of there. Ah, oh, it didn't work. Okay, he's dead. That went fine. We got an angel room, we got a tears upgrade, which is great. It synergizes well with cancer, and when we lose cancer, it'll be better too. The Guardian Angel, which is probably the worst angel upgrade that we could get right now. But it's fine, it's a little added defense, which could come in handy. You never know when it's going to be great or when it's going to be terrible. So, you know, you always want to go to that deal with the Angel Room. Worst case scenario, it's a free item, so I guess I can stop bitching about it so much. It's not like I had to pay extra for it. And I think going with, to deals with the Angel ensures that you are going to get more deals with the Angel in the future. I'm hoping that's the case anyway. I would love to... Just get stacked up on angel runs. It sounds... Whoa, that was close. Uh, it sounds like I'm doing drugs or something. But man, you show me a guy who doesn't like getting stacked up on angel runs and I will show you a liar. So let's get some shots fired in here. Take out these greaves. Just some suppressing fire, nothing big. Extra hearts. Book of Belial worthy. Why the hell not? Um, it allows us to take a little bit less damage on this room. I was going to say no damage, but <laughs> since I took a hit as I was saying it, Let's just say a little bit less damage now. Key for a spirit heart. Is it a fair trade? No. Am I going to do it? Yes, because I think I'm going to gamble that I will find a oh, fuck me. I'm going to gamble that I will find a key on the next floor. Or a bombs are key pill, or like a bombs are key tarot card or something. I don't know if those even exist. But you know, bear with me. That might be a huge mistake, but we'll see. We've got a Oh, you know, this is actually a good thing. We have a mini boss here, not envy. Lust. Okay, this is okay. Because um, I think I'm fast enough to get away. And hopefully also slow enough to not walk on the creep. We'll see. Um, this is good because it means we can go to the shop on this floor if I get the 15 cents. Which I think is something that is not unlikely. We'll take this pill because I like to live dangerously. Alright, so we still got our two of hearts card, which... I don't even know what we would use that for. If we find a blood bank, that's awesome because then we can go to the boss trap room, as you can see down here. Should probably go back up and, and check out that room that I'm abandoning right next to the self-sacrifice room. Reason being, first off, yeah, it gives us a little extra chance to get a spirit heart from the relic, or it builds up the charge on the relic if that's how it works. Uh, beyond that, possibly we'd get a key drop in here, and we'd have to use a bomb to get it because it would drop in the middle or on one of these platforms, but I can use a bomb to get a key considering I have 13 bombs. And look, for once, my overthinking has actually been vindicated and it worked out exactly the way I intended. That is awesome. I would kill for a Temperance card right now. I think since the addition of the Boss Trap rooms, Temperance cards have become much more valuable. Because now, uh, you can use those to access Boss Trap rooms. They could actually guarantee you, like, another item. I can't get to those, sadly. We'll check quickly for the Secret Room here. Because if that exists, then we could bomb our way into the Boss Room. But it seems like Secret Room logic has been thrown out the window. Which might be a good thing, honestly. I mean, if the Secret Rooms are supposed to be secret, then... Uh, this is a better way of doing it than, than the way that it was previously done. If there's supposed to be a reward for, you know, like learning how the patterns work, then, then that's a different story. But if the secret rooms are meant to be secret and, and give you great rewards, then I think this is better. 
But if the secret room logic is deliberately not applying right now, then they should make it so secret rooms are good more often. Because I run into a lot of shitty secret rooms. Dare I say. So we just spent a bomb on a tinted rock to get a single key. That is garbage. Come on, just two. One. Blast off. Okay. How am I gonna... God damn it, if only I got poison touch from Lust. Okay, this is fine. We got some more dead. The only good Zambi is a dead Zambi key. Okay, finally. I thought Chubb would actually go through them. Another key. Uh, we've got Guts. I was very relieved to see that that first Guts died so quickly. And over in our treasure room we have the Shears. Man. Yeah, that's probably better than Book of Belial. It recharges more slowly. But it'll mix things up a little bit. We don't have Spectral Tears, so Shears, uh, you know, is not necessarily... I could use it on this room, then play the shit out of the um, fortune teller, which is a bonus. We got another spirit heart out of that. Feels good, man. We're going to use our last key, of course, to go to the shop. I'll probably just abandon that fortune teller. I, I'm confident. Fuck it. I can, I can beat mom without the shears. Beating the zombies this way feels better to me. Okay, so we'll go up to the shop here. We might even get another charge. Fuck me. God damn it. And that bomb wasn't even good. What if we put one here? I think we can get two. Alright. So I'm wasting a lot of bombs to take out zombies. I mean, that's just what happens when you don't have a, a brimstone or a mom's knife or a technology or anything along those lines. Shit happens. You know, zombies have been one of my kryptonites for a long time now. More keys would be awesome, but not in the cards, apparently. Will we use our last key? To open the shop with only 13 cents. Probably, reason being, I could buy, if I wanted, more keys. I could buy more, I don't know, let's see what we got. Stop pussyfooting around. Yeah, you know what. Let's spend our money. More bombs, more keys. But one more bomb, one more key. Lover's card is okay. It actually is better than the two of hearts. Because <laughs> two of hearts can only give us maximum uh, one and a half more hearts. Whereas the lover's card obviously gives us two. So pop this open, this gave us a little bit of extra money. Probably not worth a key at this point, especially considering I want to use those on the chest. But, yeah, it happens. Shears will not be recharged for the boss fight, which is annoying. Is there any other room I could go to to charge them up? No, the self-sacrifice room won't do it. And I hate this room. Fuck you, zombies. It's okay, we've been getting a lot of spirit heart drops. If only Little Chubb actually went, like, did damage through the mask. It doesn't, in case you were wondering. Or don't trust me for whatever reason. I'm not saying you would be wrong to not trust me. Okay, there we go. That didn't go so badly. We got another key here. I'm not even sure what we would do with that. Let's go fight Mom. It's Champion Mom. We're doing okay damage. It would be better for me if I could get Chubb to reliably shoot at the right time. I guess I could. Yeah, there we go. That went a little better. As did that. Alright, this is going to be an easy... Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's going to be an easy fight is what I was going to say. I actually kind of like this champion version of Mom. Even though she spawns all the fucking time. Not a problem in my eyes. Dead and Polaroid drop and HP upgrade. And everything is good. We're going to lose the Cancer Trinket. That sucks. We're going to fire more slowly now. Eh, hey, but still pretty fast. And we have a Shears card and the compass to carry us through. Will we succeed? It's a tough call. <laughs> Still very early. We're going to use the Shears as much as we possibly can because it's a great item. If only we could come across a battery or something along those lines. For some reason, the, the Shears always have great AI and like chase down the enemies. Whereas, you know, third level Meepoo is kind of a little bit slow sometimes. I'm trying to be as polite as possible. Through here, okay, perfect, perfect. We have a blood bank for once, and we can actually play it. Wow, that was a nice drop. How many hearts do we have back here? We got one here, so we can play this at least one time. And two, actually, we can play it three times. Here's why. Do it this way, drop the lover's card, pick these up, and Jesus Christ. So we'll pick this up. Wait, why did that refill our health all the way? Something's not right about this. Feels weird. Got another nickel out of this. Am I the luckiest person on Earth right now? So we'll avoid playing it for now, but it, it definitely gave us a lot of money. 
And what I'm really worried about now is just... Maybe I'm taking the wrong path here. You know, everyone wants to know that they're, they're on the right path in life. But is upper left the right way that I want to go to get to the boss of the wound part one? I don't know. I gotta call Miss Cleo or something. Can't believe I didn't take damage there. Thank you, Guardian Angel! Come on, I'm being a little quiet because I'm trying to focus on taking out these assholes. Well, that was not a good use of my time. We'll place a bomb here. So, oh, uh, almost got hit, uh, like, a thousand times there. As a result of my own weird idiosyncratic do idiosyncratic dodging. Also, kind of an idiosyncratic way of saying that. It happens. Another horrible dodge here. Let's just murder both of these with one time. Okay, and all the way down here to the boss room. Don't want to use my shears yet, of course, because it's possible we might be fighting Conquest or something. Now here's the question, if I fight the Pony, if I fight Conquest, do I get rid of the Shears to pick up White Pony? I think I do. People got fucking furious at me when I got rid of like the Game Kit or something to pick up the White Pony. Apparently people think the White Pony sucks. I think flying items are incredibly valuable. It's something that I put a huge uh, like value on when I play the game. I don't know, different strokes for different folks, but we'll see. People made it seem like it was an objectively bad decision, which I disagree with. That being said, I did die on that run, so maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. So we got one here, one here, and one champion vaginal silkworm, which I hope drops a spirit heart. Come on, you can do it. You can do it, just come here. Oh god, he came! Find a nickel for every time I heard that. Uh, well, regular half heart. Nothing to sneeze at, but nothing special either. I don't know if I've used red hearts past the first floor of this game. You are dead. And we have a bomb, and we are fighting! Skolex! This should be pretty dang easy. Except for this part, where we can't actually hit it. But, you know, our, like level 5 cube of meat. Tear an ass all over the boss room here. Ah, this might do it. Actually, level 5 cube of meat seemed to think that there was nothing valuable to attack right there. There we go, though. That was easy. Two extra spirit hearts and another tears upgrade. Again, very well welcomed. Down to the wound part two. Um, nah, there's a chance. We got a chance. Is it a great chance? Maybe not, but it's a, it's a chance nonetheless. Extra spirit hearts from the relic don't hurt. If I can avoid taking damage, we could actually, you know, amass some spirit hearts as we move forward. Is there a way I can walk through? Yeah, I can, like, stand here and get this dude to walk on the spikes. Okay. And it looks like we've, we've got a pretty straight shot to the boss room, which is always nice. Rusty Key kind of gave me a... A scare there, because I thought maybe it was the tick. Really the only thing that can stop us from at least making progress here. Unfortunately, we have kind of a serpentine way that we need to make our way to the boss. It was not a straight shot as I had anticipated. That's alright. Ah! I, <laughs> I had been dodging so well when there was four, but then when there, when there was like two, it, it became more difficult for me for whatever reason. Slots here. This is actually uh, kind of a pain in the ass. Now that they've cleared out the rocks, it is much less of a pain in the ass. One of those was actually a, a disguised tinted rock, but it only gave me bombs, which you know, I guess are welcome because I'll need those for the mom's heart boss fight. But not as important as spirit hearts, obviously, at this point in the game. I can actually shoot. There we go. Little Chubby actually got a good one there. You are dead, and we have a spirit heart and another tarot card for the stars, which we'll use, I don't know when, on the cathedral maybe? Stars, of course, takes us to the secret room. So yeah, we'll, we'll use that on the cathedral because we're already so close to the boss. I don't want to have to do any extra backtracking for no reason here. Or is it is the stars the item room and the moon is the shop? I always forget. Not that it really matters too much. Ah, uh, fuck that pill. I don't need it. But I do need to actually get Little Chubby. I wish it was like the candle where you could control when to sh shoot Little Chubby. But I guess, you know, that kind of makes it so Little Chubby is, if you don't think about it too hard, like a passive version of the candle. Which is okay. We'll definitely use our shears after we take out these lasers. I don't want to get hit doing the Zelda thing above my head. So here comes shears. Awesome. And we'll just probably rely on the shears. Ah, oh, that was dumb damage. Uh, rely on the shears to do damage to, like, mom's... Oh, fuck you. Shears, what are you doing to me, man? 
uh, like the shears can take care of the enemies while I take care of the uh, the actual damage to mom's heart by way of little chubby and of course the bombs I'm creating as well. Shears, you really let me down on that one, didn't you? Take out the zombies easily enough. This is still gonna be a fairly easy fight. Normally I like to have hearts off the screen by this time though, and we are not really even close to that because I don't have any means to create them myself beyond the relic. Uh, so, you know, things on that front are a little tricky. But they went reasonably well, I would say. People are going to be mad at me for not going into the Angel Room, but know that the Angel Room always just contains a trip down to Shoal anyway. That was not the secret room. It just acted as a telepills, so stars must be the item room. But I will forget that as soon as I've remembered it. So don't, you know, be pissed off if I don't remember that for future videos. Also, compass is worthless here because we got Curse of the whatever. That is speed plus range, not that important. Not worth- I mean, maybe it's important, but it's not worth dealing with the, uh, amount of bullshit that we would have in that room. Because what would we be dealing with? Probably, like, two Monstros, Peep, and, you know, a Chub, maybe? I don't know. I was definitely gonna take damage on that, was my estimation, at the very least. So let's take these dudes out, pick up some bombs, extra spirit hearts, always welcome. I have no fucking idea where I am, but hopefully, uh, that telepills, or teleport by way of the stars, is actually putting us closer to the boss room than we would otherwise be. But I have no bearings right now, so who knows. I want to get this guy trapped in the lasering mode that I enjoy so much. There we go. That should be it right there. Oh, that was close. And this pill's right here. We might as well hold on to it. Bad gas could be useful for us on our quest. We could use that to poison Isaac a little bit. We don't have poison touch this time. So, you never know. Might do a little extra damage. Might be enough to, to finish the job. Probably not. We have Sloth and Super Sloth. There have been a lot of alternate bosses added to the game recently. I like it. Alright, good. It's actually a great thing that that rock got cleared out, because now we should be able to maneuver a little bit more effectively. I don't care which one of these Sloths I kill first. Spider Sloth is kind of annoying. He fires two bombs instead of one. But, you know, all the enemies that he throws out are super easy to kill. Little Sloth creates silkworms, which are a little bit more annoying. Oh god. Most epic sneeze. Come. <coughs> oh, that was a good one. Uh, we'll take that one. You know, you ever hear people, like, in high school be like, you know, when you sneeze, scientists say it's like one-eighth of an orgasm. Well, let's just say my penis just thinks I had eight sneezes. Um, also... For anyone out there who is not planning on getting an education in science, no scientist would ever say anything like that. Stop making science look bad. Can you imagine that paper being published in Nature or something? Scientists say... What does that even mean, one-eighth of an orgasm? Does that mean you, you just come a little bit? Does that mean the pleasure is one-eighth of, one of the pleasure level of an orgasm? That's ridiculous. That's not scientific. That is high school science. No offense if you are still in high school or below. You'll figure it out as you go along. If you if you pursue uh, you know, that area of life. Anyway, I'm rambling about things that make borderline no sense right now. Suffice to say, I'm pleased with that sneeze for giving me oh, that was bad. Uh, for giving me such a weird tangent to talk about. Anyway. Come on down here. I'll back it up a little bit. A little bit concerned about triacnids. <sighs> Fuck you, triacnid. Explode in yes, blood. Thank you. This room's still kind of weirdly glitched out, it seems. And that's, I believe, one end of the cathedral. So now we want to go, I guess, left? I'm trying to imagine where we are. I think we're, like, roughly the middle right now. This might have been where we started. Or this might have been where we started. I can't remember. Um, yeah. Okay, so we're into new rooms now. Wish these would drop the little gish. That would be a very helpful familiar for me to get right now. I'm sort of getting um, worked over on health though, like, as you can see, I used to have a lot more. Slowly getting taken down. That was a really good chain reaction. Lots of red hearts, lots of blue hearts as well. I can't complain about the frequency of blue heart drops. But I, I oh fuck, so we want to go down. If I could just get this last, okay, we got a key, which I will make a quick break for. Here we go, three, two, one. Mmm. And, the, oh, maybe we want to go up, actually. No, that was a self-sacrifice room. Um, yeah, so by getting that key, we can uh, now open all of the chests on the chest, which hopefully some of those, you know, will give us good items. Is this not where I want to be? 
Okay, so, oh, maybe we were in the middle last time. And now we want to go right down or right up, I guess. We'll try it, but, you know, Curse of the Labyrinth. I'm not always the greatest when it comes to directions or sense of direction. And despite the fact that this is a relatively... Okay, this is the right way. Despite the fact that this is a relatively small map, would not surprise me if I still found myself occasionally running into trouble. I was gambling that that white bomb fly would not catch up to me, and I gambled wisely. we got to be coming close to the boss now. I've been holding on to the shears for so long. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, do we have a chance? I think we got a chance. Um, my ability to fly might not protect me that much defensively, but Shears is going to do a lot of damage. Two of spades doubles our keys. Bad gas will... When we get hit, I can run up and do bad gas to him. Anyway, so we'll pop Shears right away. Thank you, Meat Boy, for finally realizing what you're supposed to do. There's bad gas working its magic. Uh, it's a little riskier than my average Isaac fight because he's constantly having damage done to him, so he's constantly shooting. And I've also constantly kind of got to be in the way of those shots to get little Chubb to actually do damage. But I think the Shears is going to carry us through pretty easily here. I did not expect that. We're going to take some damage. We're going to survive, though. I think we're going to at least get to the chest, which is... Eh, it was never guaranteed. We didn't have killer items. We got great damage. And actually, the Relic was a nice touch, too. Uh, as was the Shears, but... We're not, by any stretch of the imagination, insanely overpowered right now. So this is a positive turn of events, I would say. I didn't have to play it particularly well to get to the chest, but... Or, yeah, to get to the end of the cathedral. It's not counter chickens yet. Uh, but everything's worked out reasonably well. I'm still, I'm at the point now in my... Oh, we're out of spirit outs. Uh, in my, like, Isaac career where I'm like, I can't imagine how easy this game was before the cathedral existed. Or before the chest existed, even. Because now it's got some difficulty associated with it again. Here we go. Big money, no whammies. Bomb bag, kind of a whammy. Hourglass, very whammy. Dead bird, maybe okay. Another, like, passive damage upgrade and range upgrade. Ah, not so good. Sometimes, the chest tends to fuck me with the items that it gives me. I like fighting Super Wrath, though. Occasionally, there are troll bombs I have to worry about, but more likely, or more often, I should say, there are troll bombs, which I just allow them to hit each other with. Which works way better for me. Oh, that one actually got me. <laughs> That's what I get for being cocky. But hey, we're getting half hearts all over the place. We're gonna get a shield from Polaroid. Do we have a chance at Blue Baby? Yes, it's not a good chance. I'm not gonna get your hopes up. But I mean, technically, I mean, we have already beaten the chest with Judas, I think. So... I don't feel too bad about it, honestly. <laughs> God damn it! That's bad dodging. Dead bird, why can't you be more like Shears? And actually do damage to these motherfuckers! God damn it! Okay, well we gotta take out one of these guys. I don't wanna lose to Super Sloth! Or his spider minions. Super Sloth and the spider minions. Sounds like an old Roger Corman movie or something. You should be dead. You should be fucking- Yeah! Suck it! Now this one, I don't even know. Joker? Two of spades. Doubles our keys again. Cool beans. Oh, this is not good. Uh, maybe this is okay. Fighting Gertie doesn't bother me that much. We can, we can fight Gertie without taking damage. That is not an issue. With the amount of damage that I'm doing right now, anyway. We gotta watch out for these grandfather fly bullets. That's actually the biggest concern of mine right now. Okay. Man, remember when Gertie used to be difficult? Spirit art drop, bomb drop, useful. And we should have more than enough rooms to get our shears recharged, but I'm kind of just worried about surviving. <laughs> like, beating Blue Baby doesn't even factor into my opinion right now. It's more just making it to Blue Baby, and then after that we'll, we'll wait for a miracle or something. Full health pill, who knows. Got our brain dudes created, and our brain dudes destroyed. And we we'll, come on, come on, come on. Extra key. Couldn't be more. Oh, okay. I see how it is. Can we bomb our. We can't bomb our way through doors in the chest. I think I've come to that conclusion before. We're just gonna have to tough this one out. It really shouldn't be that difficult. Like, he's killing his own spiders quite easily. But he has so much HP. And if they both fire bombs at the same time like that, sometimes things can get a little harrowing. I got a lot of. You know, information to process in my brain. Let's keep this up here. Damn. 
and I am shutting up a little bit because it's very important that this ends successfully for me, not this run as a whole. I mean, that's not that important, but this room I certainly want to get out of. If only to show Super Sloth that he can't push me around anymore. Not like he did two rooms ago, asshole. I've grown up a lot since then. Yeah, yeah, eat it. Full health. Hero Font, I'll take it. Anything. Devil, that's also okay. Hey, super extra damage. We're definitely going to get through this room fine. Maybe I shouldn't count my chickens before they hatch, but, you know. This isn't my first Gertie fight here. Already 50% dead. Just gotta watch out for the grandfather flies. That's a principal concern. I almost actually got hit by one there. And there we go. That should do it. And it did. Spirit heart drops. Nope. Extra bombs from the bomb bag. Thanks a lot. And super lost. Oh, it is so fucking tempting to use... We might die in this room. To use the shears. I have to use the shears. I hate it, but I have to. Otherwise, I would have walked on the creep and died. I'll have to rely on the devil card. That was... Wow. I didn't expect that to happen. Hopefully we get... Oh, no! Almost died anyway. So we get Yum Heart. Okay, that's actually... Alright. It's a little late. We'll do what we can here. We don't have a lot of hope. At all. Um, but you know... If we get hit once, dead bird will pop out. Then we'll get the shield from the Polaroid. And then we'll make this happen. Dead bird, it's all in your court now. Guardian Angel, ready, get ready for the game of your life. This is your chance. Okay, well that was fine. That was a decent run. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.